It's Wednesday the 7th of March today and it is the first official day of ITB and this is the day when the whole world is going to be descending on Berlin quite literally as there's uh, most of the tourism agencies from around the world at ITB from today until Sunday. Now the first three days of ITB are for trade only and then Saturday and Sunday are open to the public. So um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, trying to vlog if I can during the day, give you an idea of ITB and what it's all about. And uh, maybe I'll meet some other vloggers as well when I'm out and about, so we shall see. There is a special area for vloggers and uh, I'm sure by midday, with all the running around and talking, I'll probably need to be sat down and just doing nothing at all. So we shall see how that goes. It was supposed to be snowing and um, I've woken up this morning, it's pretty just gray skies out there at the moment and looks wet, which is it's okay because it means that I'm not really I'm not really missing anything at all here in Berlin. So let's get ready and let's get off down to ITB in Berlin. I've arrived at uh, ITB here in Berlin and unlike the city center, it's actually snowing out here in Metzestut. So um, just having to be careful as I walk along as it's quite icy. Although uh, unlike my home in the UK, they seem to grip things really well over here. So uh, I'm just gonna go and find out where I can get into this place. And uh, hopefully if I can get in, as it's a little bit early at the moment to, uh, to actually get in. I've got another at least hour, but hopefully they'll let me in out of the chill wind. This is one of the amazing things of being an ITB, is meeting people such as the gentleman in front of me. And um, he is currently writing out my name in Arabic script. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm just so grateful that he's actually letting me photograph his hands as well. So, can I ask your name please? Hassan al Jubili. Hassan? Yeah, Hassan. Hassan, thank you. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's the end of day three in Berlin, first proper day of ITB Berlin, and uh, it's been a, a very, very long day today, uh, just walking around what seems like kilometers of conference center, meeting and greeting people, trying to set up meetings and seeing if I can get people interested in what it is that I do as a photographer. So it's, uh, it's quite hard out there as you have to face a lot of rejection of people saying to you, sorry, not interested in, in what it is that you do, but you know, maybe some bites out there as, uh, as to what could be some good contacts. And that's basically what these things are about is trying to make contacts and new connections and networking. Speaking of networking, um, I did actually come across uh, another YouTuber today. I'm sure some of you have heard of uh, Brendan Van Son, who travels the world and is here, there and everywhere. So I caught up with him earlier on, uh, just around lunchtime or so, and, and had a chat and he was graceful enough to, to give me some of his time as I know he was editing his YouTube video while I was uh, chatting away to him. So I was grateful for him stopping and chatting to me. That was really nice of him to do so. So if, uh, if, you, if you're not aware of Brendan, um, then check out Brendan's channel and see how much traveling he does as a photographer. It puts me in the shade. Um, but that's it's each to their own and everybody works in different ways. So what have I done today? Well, I've, as I said, I've just talked to a lot of people today, a lot of people from different countries, a lot of people from different tourism boards and all sorts of different companies out there. So it's uh, interesting getting uh, some people's attention and some people's time and some people are loving what it is that I'm doing. So maybe there'll be something there. We shall see. Now, um, I did get a couple of questions on YouTube earlier on this morning. I've answered them, but I'm going to answer them again, just in case uh, you're just coming to this video as a first time. So I was asked by um, a frequent commenter of my work called Miguel, and he said to me, um, what is like, what are my business approaches and how am I making money? Well, my principal way of making money from photography is through stock photography, through things like Getty Images, and there are of course other and many image libraries out there, of course. So I'm with probably about uh, nine image libraries, I think, something like that. So it's, it's quite hard because you're having to juggle your work across many different libraries. So there is that. Then there's the editorial side that I do. So I'm with Rex Features. I'm, I can put things onto the Alamy News, uh, the Alamy News Wire, 
So when you're doing things like that, when you're doing things like editorial work, you put it in and then 10 minutes later it's online for buyers, which is great and that's what you need. That's what you need to be able to do to get it out there. Um, there are other things like um, selling prints is another way that photographers make money. Photographers make money from photography workshops. I do have my own workshops that I run and I do run workshops in conjunction with David Clapp who lives uh, in the United Kingdom, a very, very well-known photographer in the United Kingdom. So there's, there's all sorts of ways that people make money from photography. So there's no one way that will make you your living. There's, you have to basically get um, stock photography, prints, workshops and commercial work and whatever else you can find as a photographer. There's just so much out there and so many different ways. Even YouTube, I mean, I'm not actually making any money from YouTube itself at the moment. I've turned on the monetization, but it doesn't, it's not quite working for me at the moment. I don't sure, exactly sure what's going on with that, um, but that's something I need to look into whenever I get a moment. I don't know when that will be. Um, then I also, another regular to my channel, a lady called Helen, she said to me, um, obviously I'm spending money coming here to Berlin and creating imagery will the time and the money and the images that I'm creating, will it cover the costs? It's always the thing um, when you're doing things like this as a stock photographer, um, that you're, it's almost kind of like buying lottery tickets. So you're buying a ticket and you're hoping that the numbers you've chosen will then come back and actually uh, give you the reward that you hope it's going to give you. But stock photography these days is extremely difficult because uh, you've got so many different libraries competing with one another and um, they're all kind of, as we are saying in the industry, it's the race to the bottom. So a lot of times, there are, I know there's a lot of photographers, for example, in places like Shutterstock. So you'll see your images go for a minimum of 25 cents, which is, it's daft. It's just ridiculous because you just look at it and think, well, how am I ever going to make any money? It's basically, it comes down to volume and it comes down to quality of those particular images and then how far you're willing to spread them, um, whether you want to go royalty free, whether you want to go rights managed, whether you want to go the real micro stock route, which is things like Shutterstock. There's so many different ways to try and monetize what it is that you do as a photographer. So that's kind of a bit of an insight. Um, did I film anything at ITB? Well, you probably would have seen around the intro some, some silly stuff, kind of just walking through the corridors and stuff and quickly talking and I didn't feel much really at all during the exhibition just because I was trying to just make business contacts and see what it is that I could do there and talk to people so that's why I didn't film too much maybe tomorrow I'll see um, maybe on Friday as well um, it all just took, comes down to time I'm, I've got quite a lot done today I'm hoping that tomorrow and Friday will hopefully be a little bit slower although tomorrow I do have five definite business meetings tomorrow to attend to in the afternoon so I shall see how they go. Until tomorrow, let's give you, it's giving you an insight so far as to what's going on in my, uh, my five nights here in Berlin. So this is day three and of course something I haven't been saying is thanks of course to all of my subscribers that are keeping with me and thanks to anybody new that comes along and um, see you tomorrow.